Jordan, when it comes to having an offensive approach and buy-in, what are some of the true keys that you have to have with your offense, any offense? Yeah. Um, I think you got to have a goal first and foremost with your offense and with your hitters. Like what, what, are, you, what are you trying to do as an offense? And well, for us, we want to have the best on-base percentage in the country. That's something we talk about. But um, you got to have that. you got to have something that you can go back to and say, guys, this is what we're trying to do. And, you know, in every part, every facet, whether it's hitting or it's pitching or defense or, you know, dugout, we got to have, we call them pillars, but you got to have something that you can really stack up on, something that you believe in, something you always go back to. So for us, um, for us for a long time, it's always been for us quality at bats. That's how we measure and not bad as opposed to kind of that uh, process over result idea. We're going to track quality at bats. We're going to make sure we track them. Um, we're going to talk about them. We're going to work towards that. And it keeps your kids' mindsets a little bit more positive than, you know, hey, I failed on a strikeout or whatever that is. They can rocket a ball to the second baseman on a line. That's a quality bat if you put a good swing on it. And it's, it's rated as a quality bat in, in our dugout. So uh, the second pillar is, is a hard 95. And explain that to you. Um, we all know 90s and, and we all talk about that. I guess a couple of years back, we got tired of saying run hard through the base and stop stop stopping short of the base and so we just said you know what we're going to go 95 and it, it was more for a drill and all of a sudden it kind of took root and stuck and we just started calling them hard 95s and so we make sure our guys run hard through the base and really it's just a it's just a block for everything we're trying to do in our offense it's not just about running from home to first hard it's jogging on the field in between batting practice from station to station it's um, you know, on and off the field and how that can affect your offense, you know, having a little bit more time to breathe before you get out on defense or hustling into the dugout and giving yourself a chance to separate and get ready for your at bat or talk to a coach, whatever you got to do. So make sure you have some pillars. 